Fuzzy Baby, What to Know and Do All babies cry. During the first three months of life, they cry a lot. They're still getting used to being outside of the womb, and it's the only way they have to communicate. In the first six weeks of life, it's completely normal for a baby to cry for around two hours every day, lessening to about an hour a day by 10 to 12 weeks. Two hours a day is a lot for a new, exhausted, worried parent. Some babies cry more than others. It's hard to say exactly how much crying is too much because it depends on how they are crying and on everything else going on. When a healthy baby less than three months of age cries and fusses a lot, like three or more hours a day, for no apparent reason, we sometimes say that the baby has colic. The exact cause of colic is unknown. It's most likely different in every baby. For some, it could be related to stomach upset or feeding problems. For others, it may be related to an immature nervous system or their temperament or being hypersensitive. For others, it can be related to their environment or the stress of their caregiver. For some, it may be a combination of these or other factors. There are some common features to this kind of crying which is ultimately normal and something that passes on its own. Another way of looking at this type of crying is that it is a period of what we call purple crying, a normal phase for some infants. Purple is an acronym for P, peak of crying, more each week, and highest in the second month. U, unexpected, it seems to come and go for no clear reason. R, resist soothing, the baby keeps crying no matter what you do. P, pain-like face. The baby seems in pain, even if they're not. L, long-lasting. The crying can last five hours a day, added up, or more. E, evening. The crying may be worse in the late afternoon or evening. In general, it's reassuring if the baby seems fine in between crying periods. A baby who is mostly happy until late afternoon or evening worries us doctors a lot less than a baby who is miserable most of the day and night. The main point is that colic, or the period of purple crying, are really common, and for the most part, are not a sign of a serious problem. For the most part, they just go away. So how can you be sure if your baby's crying is normal or a sign of a problem? Crying can be a sign of a problem if your baby has a fever, is vomiting more than usual, or the vomit forcefully shoots out of the mouth, has stools that are much looser or harder than usual, or have any blood, is eating much less than usual, is coughing or congested or has any signs of illness, looks pale or has trouble breathing, seems much more tired or weak than usual, has a cry that is weak or high-pitched, or has any scratches, bruises, or a rash that either is unusual or very red, swollen, or irritated. If any of those are the case, or if you aren't sure, you should call your doctor right away for advice. If none of those are the case, it's always a good idea to go through some basic things to see if the problem is a simple one you can fix. Check to see if they are hungry. Check to see if they need a diaper change. Check to be sure that there isn't a hair or something wrapped around a finger or toe, or that clothing isn't somehow pinching. Try a pacifier. Try burping or gently rocking. Try swaddling. Go to a quiet, darker place. There are other things that you can try too, such as taking baby for a ride in the car or stroller. Putting baby in a baby swing or vibrating baby chair, as long as it's equipment meant for the baby's age. Always supervise your baby if they are in a swing or a bouncer. Try a warm bath, keeping a close eye on baby the whole time. A belly massage. An audio tape of heartbeats or white noise. Be sure it's not too loud for baby's ears. If none of that works, or doesn't work for very long, check in with your doctor. An in-person visit might also be a good idea too, just to check baby's growth and do a physical examination. Chances are, everything is fine, but it's good to be sure. Your doctor may have some specific advice for your situation. 
If your doctor says your baby is fine, then what you need to do is keep trying the different soothing techniques and any advice your doctor gave you. Have faith that everything will get better and take care of yourself. It is very hard to have a fussy baby. It can make parents worry that they are doing something wrong or that they are bad parents. And when parents get stressed, sometimes it can make things worse as babies can sense when their parents are upset. Call for reinforcements. Take turns with your partner. Call friends and relatives. Let them hold the baby for a while so that you can have a break. Never shake a baby. It can do real damage to the brain. If you feel yourself getting upset and there is no one around who can relieve you, put baby down in a safe sleep space and take some time for yourself. That doesn't make you a bad parent. It makes you a good one. Thank you for watching this video on keeping babies safe.